You do what makes you feel confident and comfortable and most importantly safe when it comes to loading and unloading your rides. Hey, hi, and hello, Angelisa here, your host for Brat Babes Throttle Talk. And I have a quick episode for you today because I only have six minutes left of my podcast cycle. I get four hours a month, and if I go over four hours, I have to pay more. So my goal is to come out with an episode every week, but there might be a couple months where I miss an upload, and that's just because I have ran out of minutes, hours um, from my podcast cycle, and I'm not going to be paying more just for a couple minutes. So I hope you can all understand why I have some of these short episodes here on the podcast. So today's episode is brought to you by Ericsson Manufacturing. And if you haven't seen it yet over on my YouTube channel, I have partnered up with Ericsson for some pretty cool videos. I am a huge fan of Ericsson and also a big believer on loading your dirt bikes and your snowmobiles as safely as possible with the right tools and the right products. Ericsson has everything that you need from different types of ratchet straps to different types of ramps, motorcycle carriers, and winches. Um, I will leave a link to their website so that you can see what they all have to offer. I'm going to bring this back to about 10 years ago, and I really wish that I recorded myself at this moment in time. I had a pretty deep conversation again 10 years ago. I was sitting in the passenger seat um, while my husband, Kenny, was driving, and I believe I was about five or six months pregnant with my first daughter, Stella. And I had this conversation with Kenny. We're talking about sledding and um, how we were getting into the sl- uh, into the snowmobile scene, and we just got our snowmobile before I got pregnant. Um, gosh, I can't remember. But anyways, that being said, um, I remember having this conversation with him, and I said that I would never load and unload my snowmobile all by myself, and that I will need him every step of the way, or else I'm not going to ride. Like I was so stern and so like, this is how it is. Like you need to do all these things for me. And (laughs) I remember the look on Kenny's face. It was, oh gosh, I don't know how to explain it, but it was almost like disgust, but also disappointment all in one. And I mean, that's fair. Um, I can't remember the exact same words that he said but it was something along the lines of like stop saying you can't do it and that there is no point of getting into a sport if I wasn't willing to put in the effort of learning how to do these things which you know it really does pain me to say (laughs) actually it doesn't at all but he was right um I had to stop saying I can't and I had to learn how to be a beginner and trying something new I think a lot of us women can relate when we feel we need to depend on our male partners or male significant others to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Um, But in this case, it's the loading, unloading, putting up the ramps, strapping our cargoes down. And because my husband and I rarely get to ride together, I had to quickly adapt and learn how to do things on my own. That required gaining enough courage to practice multiple times on how to drive my snowmobile up a ramp onto a sled deck, which if you're not familiar, a sled deck is something that sits on top of your truck box and it actually makes your ramp a lot steeper. So you have to give it a lot, well, I shouldn't say a lot of throttle, but you have to give it enough momentum to get your sled on top of the sled deck, which can be very scary, okay? Very scary when you're doing that. So same thing with loading dirt bikes, right? So I guess my message to you is whatever it takes for you to feel comfortable in loading and unloading your rides, make sure you have the right tools and the right products that make you feel confident and less afraid. If it requires a wide ramp to drive up with your dirt bike into the back of your truck, so be it. 
Don't let anyone tell you that you're doing something wrong or that you're not using the appropriate ramps. You do what makes you feel confident and comfortable and most importantly safe when it comes to loading and unloading your rides. I preach this. I preach about being independent when it comes to our sports. And actually someone left a comment on one of my posts about driving up on a trifold ramp with my dirt bike. And it reads, reducing the stigma around double ramps will help. Hella people give girls shit for not using a single ramp, but whatever you feel safest doing is the right way. So thank you, Tori Brinson, for that comment, because that's just it. Whatever feels good to you is the right way. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? If you want to learn more on how to load your dirt bike onto a wide ramp or onto a motorcycle carrier, I have come out with a couple of videos that you can check out over on my YouTube channel. I will leave some links in the show notes for you. And that's all that I have for you today. So today was a quick riff, um, but something that I hope that you can take away and feel empowered to load and unload your dirt bike or your snowmobile on your own. And if you are doing that, make sure you ask for help in your beginning phase because it's better to have extra hands if something does go wrong and that we put in the time and we keep practicing until we get comfortable where we can do it independently. That's what it took for me. I put in a lot of time. I put in a lot of practice because I had to. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and being a part of the conversation. So I appreciate you. Keep killing it safely out there and be the vibe and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Okay, bye.